Good evening, everybody. It's Lynn, the Leather Bag Lady. How are you all today on this uh, Tuesday, November the 12th? It is my mom's birthday today. Happy birthday, mom. It is my very dear friend Karen's uh, birthday in Cape Breton Island, New Waterford. Happy birthday, Karen. I don't know if she watches my videos, but a happy birthday. And it has been um, a bit of an up and down day today, but we will have story time after two days two bags. Um, actually, some snow on the ground this morning, leather bag lady weather report, just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I have had a cold for the last three or four days. So if I sound like I've just smoked a pack of cigarettes, I have not. I have been a little bit under the weather. But again, we'll talk about that after. So our first bag today was yesterday's listing. I did not do a video yesterday. Um, this is a Y2K burgundy leather Juicy Couture shoulder bag. Now, Juicy Couture has had a bit of a resurgence in popularity. More so the velour bags, like the uh, Paris Hilton and whatever her name is, Nicole Richie, um, you know, Y2K uh, velour bags. But these all leather juicy bags are still very sought after. So this one has a little bit more damage than I would normally offer you. But because it's juicy, I thought, you know what? Somebody is going to rock this bag. So let's unpack it a little bit. So let's start from the bottom and work our way up. So there is a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of shape loss on the bottom. But once you get all your goodies in there, you will be good. Um, there is crowns on each of the feet on the base that's a bit of a juicy little few little scuffs a juicy kind of trademark move on to the front you've got some juicy branding here and then uh, your twist lock there is some damage on the uh not damage but just some wear some scuffs um everything is fine on the flap here and we come over like down kind of the other side and this is where the kind of disruption in finish takes place so there is some drying here there is a little bit of disruption in the leather surface and it's there's something pretty well on all four corners some here now is it visible from a distance absolutely not but is it there yes it is so i've deemed this to be like a seven and a half um out of eight because there's nothing ripped nothing you know the piping is in great condition everything is there it's just there is somewhere and there is a bit of a, a dark mark right here not sure what that's all about but it is there it's on the back so obviously it's like denim uh blue uh trans color transfer or something of that nature there was something else i wanted to show you oh the inside <laughs> Duh. there is your zipper and your leather uh zipper pull on the other side are leather edge slip pockets and the all important juicy couture uh, label. And with the even more important white interior inspection tag. This for me is what I've always been told is kind of the, if it doesn't have that, chances are it's probably a fake. So that is, um, the inside is in excellent, excellent condition. It is a shoulder bag for sure. I mean, you could put it over your your crossbody if you needed desperately to be hands-free, get stuff in your car, get stuff out of your car. I just uh, took a flat of water out of my car and I needed all four, or all four hands, all two hands. <laughs> so that is today, that was yesterday's bag. This Y2K burgundy super soft butter soft leather shoulder bag um <clears throat> today's bag is really really super cute this is a dark blue leather 1960s um shoulder bag that will transfer into a hand bag you just thread that through bring it over and it snaps 
And there you go. You've got something a lot more vintage looking with this kind of strap structure. Not my cup of tea necessarily. Uh, dep would depend where I wore it. I definitely do have some Jane Shilton bags that look very similar in shape and absolutely have the small handles and I love to use them. It just, I find bags like this, especially if you're going to wear something, um, you know, more modern. And I mean, it's uh, Christmas party season. I guess I won't be going to the Christmas party this year. <laughs> Uh, last year was okay. Last year was great because my son was with us and the year before was great. We had so much fun with, uh, colleagues and, uh, Alan, uh, Joanne, we had a great, great time, but it won't be happening this year. Um, there is a little bit of, uh, indentation where the leather kind of catches these, uh, pockets inside but I think once you get your items in there, then it, it will be, you know, kind of distended from this bunching here. Now, this interior has Vickies all over it. I do not know what Vickies means. I don't know what it stands for. I've tried to look it up. It doesn't really mean anything. It's got that great real kind of 60s, 70s uh, snap button closure. Just a really, really attractive bag. I really like it. I love this uh, kind of, it's not quilted. It's just a quilted look. So that is today's bag. So what I'm getting ready to do is to start kind of um, slowing down my listings because I will be going away for the whole of December and I will be going away for um, hope, well, a week in January for sure, hopefully a week in February. And then uh, towards the end of March, I'll be heading off uh, to the UK for um, the remainder of March and most of April. So obviously, I can't take my stock with me. So I'm just kind of winding it down. I will still be listing. Um, I will be listing a lot more wallets, uh, purse pouches, and I am going to take some clothing with me. I've got a bunch of vintage clothing that's been sitting for a long time. So this is an excuse to be able to um, list that. <coughs> I've been sick for a few days, so um, um, I'm, I don't know where my water is. It's not to hand, so I won't run off and go and get it. Um, so just to let you know that the, I'm not shutting my shop down. I'm going to deactivate all the listings on uh, the Shop of the Shed and um, Etsy. And I, Etsy is going to be a real pain because it just means I'm going to have to pay for them all again. It's not a lot, but I mean, the like today's bag has been listed for three months. And once I deactivate it, then I've got to pay for it again. So that's why I'm kind of slowing down with the listings because it's just a waste of money. And um, it may be that the last few bags that I list, um, I'll take those with me to uh, Sarnia just so, you know, I can ship those. We may be looking at a postal strike on Friday. So that's going to really suck. And um, yeah, so I, I will be bringing items like I have a ton of coach wristlets. So I think that's probably what I'm going to take with me to Sarnia for the most part. And then when I get back, you know, I still will be here. I can, you know, reactivate some uh, pieces. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that yet. Because again, there's no point in spending another uh, 20, I mean, it's 20 cents US, which is not a lot, but when you've got a couple of hundred listings, it turns into a lot. So I'm not sure. I probably won't reactivate everything until I'm back, um, you know, for the summer. And then next winter is going to look probably quite different because I'm more than likely going to have a job. So I won't, you know, be able to do the traveling that I'm doing this year. But I am going to try and set it up that I can go away um, for some kind of time. I've learned recently that the month that I have to vacate the park isn't doesn't even have to be in a row. 
Like I can take a week here, a week there. I haven't had that confirmed yet, but a few people have told me that. Um, even the propane supplier, I went there to uh, get a quote for a new furnace. Um, so it will be my second new furnace. Uh, I guess the last one was last year, but um, in the house in Hamilton. But you know what? I'm just looking ahead at uh, the investment that this little shack of mine is turning out to be. So um, having a 30-year-old furnace in the unit is not going to make anybody rush to pay what uh, is going to be the elevated value of this unit because of what's happening in the park. I mean, it's been absolutely... Somebody was looking out for me as shit as the last three, four months have been for me. Somebody has been looking out because this unit of mine has absolutely turned into an investment opportunity. Now, depending on what my future holds, I mean, who knows? The world is my oyster. The world is my at my feet. Uh, doesn't feel like that right now. Still struggling, you know, I've had a really rough couple of days had a bit of a situation yesterday morning that I was informed of that just threw me right back in it and just and then today uh, Facebook memories of our trip to Mexico I guess two years ago today we left <sighs> just so sad just so sad I do not understand we could have avoided this we could have fixed it we could have um, I just, I still don't, it's still just right here. It's just right here. And I just don't seem to be able to shake it, you know, and it's pissing me off because the sequence of events that has happened since July 27th this year have just been unlike anything I have experienced in my life. And, you know, this is not my first marriage. It's not even my second. And I am just still stunned daily with how this has gone down. But anyway, it is what it is. And hopefully this time next year, I will be in a completely different place. Um, I don't know. That's all I can wish for. That is really all I can wish for. And we'll just have to take the winter as it comes. So hopefully you'll all hang in there with me. Um, obviously, I will do videos when I can. It might not always be a sales video. But you know what? Maybe it's time to just not be all about the selling of bags. Maybe it's, um, <clears throat> you know, to... <coughs> Excuse me share with you my journey and where I'm at and, um, you know, the places I'm visiting and the people I'm visiting and the fun I'm having. I better have some freaking fun this winter. I am telling you, that is what all of this travel and, I mean, it's going to cost me a pretty penny, but you know what? I do not care. I need to fill my head with new memories and new experiences and and not new I am not anywhere close to being able to date again or move on or I have no idea how it has happened so quickly for the other like I guess that's just what men do but I just I'm stunned stunned still and it has been three months almost that He's been moved on with someone else. Like, who does that? <laughs> like, I just don't get it. But anyway, enough of that. Um, the park here is getting ready to kind of close down for the season. I finally got some decent insurance on my unit. Oh, my goodness me. It's been a bit of a shit show. But finally got some insurance and... Um, painting and hanging curtains and making my place look really really cute and it is starting to really look pretty um just did some more work in the sunroom uh today because it was looking really messy and it still looks a bit messy but that's just the way it's gonna have to be for now so um <clears throat> 
Tomorrow I had a show. It's been canceled. The first one of my season, I guess. Um, Actually, no, it wasn't even a Christmas event tomorrow. It was just a regular show. It's at a place I've never been to before in Orangeville. (coughs) Montgomery Village. In outbreak. So we'll see how many of these shows I've got booked over the next month or so actually happen. I've got a few shows booked in Sarnia when I'm there for December, so we shall see. But I'm getting to the point where I'm not going to be able to talk anymore, so I will sign off. Have a great rest of the day, everybody, and I will... (coughs) I'll see you tomorrow for Shop of the Shed. Bye, everybody.